are, week one. It is finally here. The most exciting week one that you're going to see is definitely going to live up to its hype. And welcome back to another video on Monov Sports Talk. I am your host, Monov, and in this video, I am making my week one predictions of the best games in the NFL. And we're going to be starting off with the Chiefs versus Browns game Sunday, 3.25 on CBS Central Time at Kansas City, a rematch of last year's divisional round. And I have the Chiefs winning a one-point game, 28-27. to I think this might be the game of the week uh, this week, Cleveland. They're for real. We all know it. They're one of the definite AFC contenders this year after reaching the divisional for the first time in a long time last year. This is the rematch of that previous divisional round game where the Browns came back, but it was some Chad Henney magic that who came in for Patrick Mahomes after Mahomes got hurt. I think in this matchup, Cleveland is a much better defensive unit this time, and seeing that Tyron Matthews is questionable, I think we're in store for a very tight contest. I think Cleveland puts up a good offensive showing um, and plays plays pretty well defensively against Mahomes because uh, you have a couple of new guys on the defensive line, such as Malik Jackson at DT. He brings that veteran leadership who I think can make um, some pass rush presence felt. He can make some plays in the run game. You also have Jadevion Clowney on the outside who can possibly wreak some havoc on that weaker right side of the offensive line for the Chiefs. And then you have John Johnson, the safety for Cleveland, who is really good. Young solidifies the back end. Um, and I think this team is way more complete on the defensive end. The Chiefs have a new offensive line. Um, they get some pressure on Mahomes. That left side is very, very solid with Orlando Brown and Joe Tooney. So I wouldn't be surprised if Miles, you don't see much of Miles Garrett. Um, but that right side is kind of weak. So... The Browns are a much more complete team this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they pull out the victory here. But the Chiefs are going to open at home. They're going to win. Um, the offensive line on that left side is as good as any that you'll see. And Patrick Mahomes is not going to walk away with an 0-1 record. He's going to win this game. Um, I think he takes advantage of that younger secondary. Obviously with Tyreek and Kelsey. And now the next game. It's a really good one too. Sunday, 12 o'clock on CBS Central. Steelers at Bills, rematch of last year's very exciting regular season game. I think Buffalo is going to win a close one at home to open up the season. I think the Steelers are going to be trying to get back to that running game with they nearly drafted running back Najee Harris. Um, you know, the Steelers have been known to be a physical team, run the football. Last year, they got away from that passing a lot with Big Ben. And we know Big Ben is one year older now. So I think we're going to try and get back to that running game. The game plan doesn't really work out too well. I think the Steelers' defense is a solid job overall, limiting Josh Allen. I think Buffalo makes enough plays to win this game, and Josh Allen shows why in clutch time. I think Stephon Diggs is also going to have another big game like he did last season against this very Steelers team. Bills 26, Steelers 23. And now the 325 on Fox game on tomorrow. Packers at Saints. I think this is going to be a really good game. Much better than we think without Drew Brees. I have the Packers winning this one 27-21. I think the Saints are better than we think. Jameis Winston, he fits to me really well in the Saints' Sean Payton system. Um, I think he, he will be good as their starting quarterback. It was good that they named him the starter. To me, the Saints are a playoff team, maybe a wild card, because the Bucks will win the division most likely. But, you know, Jameis having that arm, you know, he has a pretty good arm. The deep shots are back in New Orleans. Um, I think Green Bay, offensively, you know, with MVP Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, they'll start out a little bit slow. You know, that Saints D is still pretty good. That linebacking core, DeMario Davis leading the way, still pretty good. You got Cam Jordan on that front, you know, and then you had Desmond Trufant on the back end. They're a pretty solid defense. Um, and I think in the second half, Green Bay just turns it on. I think Alvin Kamara is going to have a pretty good game, but I think the Packers defense gets a stop late. Pretty, I think it's going to be pretty solid showing from Jameis Winston, but not enough for the W. And now, a very sneaky good game here. Uh, Seattle Seahawks going to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Sunday, 12 o'clock on Fox. I have Seattle winning this game 21-17. to 
It's Carson Wentz's first game in Indianapolis, reunited with former offensive coordinator of the Eagles, Frank Reich, who's now the head coach for this team. Carson Wentz steps in after that injury, back into his starting offensive role here in Indianapolis, and we'll see if he can take this talented team all the way. The, the Colts are a pretty good defensive unit, have some really exciting players offensively. I'm interested to see how Wentz is going to do. I think it's maybe going to take at least a half for Wentz to get back into maybe a couple of games. I don't think the Colts are going to come out in this game firing on all cylinders by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but they can be good offensively, you know, throughout the season. I think this is going to be a lower scoring game, you know, where Seattle can hold them defensively. You have Jamal Adams, you have a, you know, decent defensive unit. Seattle, you know, not Legion of Boom anymore. They're not too great defensively. But the Colts' defense is pretty good. I think they're a pretty good team. I think Darius Leonard, he is just amazing. You know, Darius Leonard is still underrated for some stupid reason. But, you know, I think they do a good job on Russ, limiting him, scrambling, you know, making those extra plays. But I think Danger Russ, Russell Wilson, you know, the MVP that he is, I think makes a big play at the end to get this game done. It's going to be closely fought, very low scoring 21-17 talks. And now the last game. It's another sneaky good game. I have very high scoring matchup here if you're interested in high scoring games. This is the one for you. Sunday, 12 o'clock on Fox. You have the Cardinals going to Tennessee to take on the Titans. I have the Titans winning this game 34 to 30. I think it's a very high scoring game, very entertaining. Um, it's kind of, you know, an underrated game, not on many people's radars. Um, both defenses are not really too great, honestly. Um, you know, just looking at these two teams, I'm looking at the receivers Julio Jones. Newly acquired for the Titans, A.J. Brown. I expect either one of those two for the Titans to just go berserk. I think Titans have a better secondary with Kevin Byard, um, Malcolm Butler. Um, DeAndre Hopkins for the Arizona Cardinals will be good. A.J. Green, you know, you have guys like A.J. Green, Christian Kirk as well for the Cardinals who can make some plays happen. You can see a lot of deep shots here by Kyler and Der uh, Ryan Tannehill. I think Tennessee takes a very high scoring game at home. Tannehill uses his new weapon really well, named Julio Jones. I think Derrick Henry is going to have a pretty solid game, but they're definitely going to launch it through the air. Titans 34, Cardinals 30. So this week one features a lot of rematches from last year in store. It's going to be very exciting. After when we saw the probably one of the most, uh, one of the best kickoff games we've ever seen in a long time, where Tampa Bay won. Tom Brady did what Tom Brady does, had a game-winning field goal drive, and Dak Prescott. By the way, let me tell you. How outstanding the man looked. He was just incredible on the next level. Showed why he arguably is a top five quarterback and a superstar in this league. Dak Prescott is back, baby, and he is looking amazing. He just came out firing on all the cylinders, even after that leg injury, even after the shoulder. Just incredible to see what he's doing after all that adversity. I think we're in store for a very exciting week one that, you know, definitely need to watch. So here are the other week one games that, you know, to be honest, are frankly not as exciting. But some highlights here. I think the Chargers get a close win over Washington. I think the Rams on Sunday night football look pretty good at SoFi. Take a close one over the Bears. I think the Bears uh, defense does a decent job on Stafford in the first game. The Ravens take a close one over the Raiders. With all those running back injuries. Um, Sam Darnold beats his former team in the Jets 20-16. 49ers beat up the Lions, um, and the Eagles or Jalen Hurts get a good win in week one. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go down, hit the like, subscribe, comment in the comment section what your predictions are for week one, and I hope to see you in the next video.